Alright guys, I'm going to show you two of my most broken decks that I've ever created and it's taken me um, heaps of testing to get to that point. Uh, they're sort of, um, you know, those all out decks that have like a really fast win condition. Uh, so um, don't expect it to be like, you know, normal decks that run traps and you know anti tra traps etc because they're supposed to be fast and furious and you know get their win condition out as soon as possible and just dominate the game uh, you know summon heaps of crap that even traps can't get rid of um, normally so So I'll show you a few duels first um, before I show you a deck, just so you know that I'm not completely retarded. So white stones offsets any card disadvantage I would have using hand destruction. All right, so I guess this one sort of an you know very uh, typical OTK. Um, it's not that special because I didn't use much. Um, hand spells, so this is probably not the best replay. Let's see what else I have. Alright, yeah, so this I have sort of an Exodia looking hand. Send every freaking last thing to my graveyard so I can just spam the hell out of this. And this is not that impressive, but still does the job. Okay, what else do I have? Two months. Pretty good. So I can mullet all that, you know, useless crap. And I'll set up my grave really nicely for turn two and have a turtle. So I'm feeling pretty safe to just summon that. So my partner turn, he can just OTK that guy without any problem. Still not that impressive. But anyway, I still have my turn one win condition. Just take one turn setup, you know, without any problem. So this is probably a good one because I've actually written pro start. So I might let it without losing any disadvantage because of that um, white stone. So I think the game ended here because my partner was a AFK or something. But could have easily won, you know, it's, it's just a one game. I have all this crap. So yeah. Um. Okay, I'll show you the other deck.
So this deck is pretty broken as well. You can just see why. You know, I'll just let it speak for itself. So this thing is pretty broken if you use it, you know, when there's no back row. You get to draw three, and then you get all this hand advantage back, and it's easily you can summon at least two fairgrounds from there on. And um, this gear town actually provides me, you know, with a lot more level eights than in a typical dark world deck. You wouldn't find that many level eights. So there's just that endless supply of monsters that you use. And that's three programs at turn one. You know, tell me another deck that can do the same thing. Very, very difficult with any other deck. And my partner disconnected. <laughs> So I guess this door is one where I only had one more car left. Um, I wonder what happens. Let's find out. Oh yeah, so this was an old deck where I still used um, drag down. Yeah, so I haven't done many new doors with the. Um, the one that where I just um, spam level eight, you know, all day instead of using, you know, drag down. Because in this deck I only had two gear towns. In the new one I have three. So obviously no battle with coach, but it's you know very hard to get over this, especially you know when he has no hand from my partner using Nordaras. So yeah, one card left. Pretty intense duel. That is game. Alright, so I'll show you the deck profiles. For the light swans, I have three blue eyes. You know, these actually fuel the rollers really, really well and goes awesome with an Exodia type deck because of all this hand destruction and mullet. I don't know what else to say, I don't have any like, you know, those typical staples in light small decks such as Honest and Gwars, simply because they slow the deck down. This is like turn one and everything. So, you know, you don't want stuff that's turn two. And I'll show you the Dark World one. 
I guess I should go over these monsters, just hover over them, so you know what they are. Okay, and here's the Dark World. Well, Dark World, it's just like, you know, very, very consistent um, draw engine. Like, you used to use this kind of thing, except, you know, without the Gear Towns for any Exodia or um, the um, Free Trap Burn cards like the um, Life Equalizer OTK and that used to be really good as well it's pretty consistent so you know with Gear Town it's just amazingly consistent because it's massive synergy and you know even Gear Town and one Malefic is enough to make a feel grand and you can I mean one feel, two, two spell cards and one you know Malefic obviously two field and um, what can I say you get one of these you get one of these and you get one of them and they make a coach instantly letting you draw number three so just amazingly broken the only trouble I guess is going second which can sometimes disrupt the combo but usually they would you know bottomless or do some nasty traps to your ancient gear um, which lets you, you know, go for a one for one as going second, which is still very decent, very decent play, I reckon. And I'll just go over them. So yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions that I think they're pretty broken right now, and it's like at the optimal stage of like being the fastest decks ever created for um, Dark World and Light Swarm in those specific win conditions in the dark world one is to you know create free fell grounds at turn one on a consistent basis instead of just doing that lame eev shit that um doesn't you know win the game all the time so yeah comment rate subscribe cheers guys peace